What's up? This is your host, non fungible TC, non fungible today, and non fungible tomorrow. And today I want to talk about the Medici effect. So, for those of you who do not know, Cosomo de Medici is actually Snoop Dogg, which I mentioned in my previous video yesterday. And uh, actually, yesterday he sent out an email. Um, and this is part of his Medici Minute. So every week he'll send out an email, right? And in, under his Medici Minute 5, speaking of acquiring a couple of weeks ago, I quietly scooped the rarest piece in the collection I feel could end up being the next Bordeaux Yacht Club. So this is a huge claim, right? And that is Raps by Raps Sound. Why do I love this collection so much? Insane art with three main characters, Variety, a lady, a bunny, and a dragon. Unique traits just as a uh, draft punch helmet, you know, Sergeant Pepper suit, and Matrix shade that makes them really pop. AI generated music with full rights to use as you wish as you purchase the NFT and most important and here's why they have common with Bored Yacht Club, a team of music and entertainment industry vets who are who have been working on this project for two years and will stop at nothing to see it become successful. I think this is why savvy collectors like Mooncat, Steve Aoki, Von Missiles, Francy, Ads have all grabbed webs. I own a bunch and I cannot wait to see where it goes, okay? Obviously this and any NFT project could go to zero but they feel very inexpensive right now with a 0.16e floor. So as a moment of sending this email, this collection was trading at 0 0.16 and then this is the Medix effect. Now it is trading at 0 0.63, okay? And um, so this is wrapped. So basically what happened is that they have have a Emmy Award designer and then he designed all of these different traits and then they feed it into an AI and then the AI generates the electronic music uh, of these NFTs. So it's similar to like uh, other projects that I talked about but this one is not pre-rendered audio files but it is a audio that is being designed by the AI. And uh, when you look at this yesterday, it was very crazy. Once the medicine minute was being sent out, right? So from 0 0.16, 0 0.15, boom, you could see all the trading. And now it is at a floor price of an average 0 0.64. And for those of you who are interested and you know want to know more about the project, I can briefly talk about it. But I want to tell you that how you could do analysis on projects like these, right? So medicine, you know, talking about um, different rare wallet holding this collection. So if you have different type of tools like IC tools, you can actually look at the holders. And then you could look at what people hold these and then the good thing about IC2 is that they do have a mark for each of these wallets right so you can see hey actually a lot of these rare wallets even plants himself owns a hundred of these and then you can see a lot of rare wallets actually own you know this NFT collection so it must be something it must be you know at least within the space even Snoop Dogg owns 17 of this right it must be you know within the space they are well connected or they must know something and uh, for those of you who are always looking at the next thing to buy, like this is not financial advice or anything, but it, it is helpful for you to, you know, go into a real wallet, look at the portfolio and see what they're currently holding or whether they have minted something, you know, in the past, right? So this is uh, Snoop Dogg's wallet and then you can see he has a lot of collections, right? But um, sometimes if you, you monitor these things and look at the last sales, uh, you could maybe find the next gem or you could kind of you know try to speculate what he's gonna talk about next but it doesn't really work that way so always be careful and uh, as you can see Snoop Dogg was you know maintain the time pieces and also Queens and Kings which a lot of rare wallet do hold this one but um anyways I want to talk about this project and why is it so unique so what happened is that it's a hybrid AI art and AI composed music NFT right so they have a designer to create and draw these traits okay and then once they draw all these traits right you have different metadata okay and then with these metadata, you have different background here, you know, vibes, and then it will feed into a music engine, okay? And then the music engine basically generates all of the music that you hear on these profile pictures, and you know, it creates a different type of unique music that you actually do own the full rights of the song. So this is quite interesting because um, what happened is that the story of this NFT, well, there is a reality, it's already released, right? But um, it is something that um, they wanted to do is an opening. It's actually an opening of the last vision of social music experience right so Snoop Dogg was saying that hey he's looking at the future of this project so basically there's 9999 web nfts and then there's three characters but there's actually a fourth one coming it's called glitch who's uh, also a board ape so you have the dragon you have uh you have the, the, the lady and then you have the rabbit right and then all of them has the same uh like 3333 um nfts right and then you it is done by Emmy Award winning artist Andy Kuhn, okay? So basically, it is a dog's team, and then they decide to, you know, try to use this NFT as a collection to kickstart their future, um, you know, music vision, I would say, in Web 3.0. They have the art layer, and then they have the metadata, they feed it into the AI, and then it generates this 
a wrap, okay? And um, so there is an AI technology that they could use to generate original music 20 times 7. And then uh, it is interesting because it is algorithmically generated and it is a random collection and it is done by you know, award-winning illustrator and art director Andy Poon. And then there are, uh, you know, additional one and one or limited edition wrap within the collection to go a step further. And when you scroll down, right, basically each of these are AI generated, okay? And when you scroll down the roadmap, okay, they, they already achieved several things on the roadmap already. So uh, first of all, you know, to generate this NFT collection and then people can download the file and then they have the full commercial, right? So this is similar to the lo-fi project that I talked about, like OMG Kirby, and then they will do a lot of different type of VMX contacts and also well connected because they're gonna work with all this, which is a um, like music streaming platform, but that's on Solana, right? And then they're gonna have community events. And then they're gonna launch the first community developed AI powered virtual artist. So rather than having like a free influencer, like a real person, now they're trying to create an AI powered virtual artist. So that's pretty cool. And they're gonna build, you know, within the metaverses like the uh, Decentraland Sandbox and Crypto Voxel, which they did uh, had an event in Crypto Voxel recently. And then uh, they will connect with the community for music content and experiences, and then live up the next generation of music creators and things like that. So you can join the community. And then they have been giving, uh, you know, back to charity. And then they do have a very solid team. Um, all of these people, you can actually search them on social media or, you know, search them on LinkedIn. And uh, these people are also well connected or they, at least they are involved in the space because they hold, you know, Mutant Ape, uh, Only Force, uh, Board Ape and things like that, right? So that's one of the important things. You have to be well connected in order for a project to be successful in the NFT world, right? So I kind of go through this, you know, how they're created and then, you know, the tricks, how it affects the music and you know what they're trying to do so in the end the question is that what i have is that the question is okay if you look at the listing right the floor is kind of thin as of this moment right most of it is being listed at one ethereum so i would assume if someone were to you know use the ethereum to buy this and then it would go up to one ethereum so the real question would be hey since 0.1 eve now the floor is 0.6 eve is it the right time to get in well, uh, what happens if this is the next board at Yacht Club? Would it go to 100 Ethereum, right? Um, to be honest, um, I do not know. We Nobody knows anything in NFTs, right? Unless you are a world where you can control the supply, where you can gobble up all these listings and then you know, drag, you know, push it to one Ethereum and then FOMO kicks in and then it keeps going up, right? But what I can say is that um, only a invest what you could afford so personally i missed the boat already right i didn't invest back then it was when i saw this project it was 0.4 and for me 0.4 is a significant amount of money so i didn't invest but now it's 0.6 of course i do have some remorse for not immediately buying but sometimes you never are lucky right sometimes if you buy at 0.4 you go back to 0 or 0 0.2 so what i'll say is that if you believe in the concept if you are interested and so they have been doing concerts in the metaverse. So for example, this one is a concert that they did in the metaverse with their upcoming AI uh, DJ, okay? The thing is, if you believe in the concept, if you do your research on this project, and if you strongly believe, and this is a long-term thing, then you have, and then they actually design the 3D avatars of these DJs as well, right? So it could be saying something. And then they also have a lot of social media accounts, and they're really trying to do something related to music in this uh, area right so if you do believe the fashion and if you're looking at a long term rather than a flip project maybe it's a good time to get in um but then you'll be holding until you know one a film or more right but if you're just hoping to flip i think that because it was very overheated for a short period of time because if you look at ic tools you know a lot of transactions just happen within like one day right so once things get overheated, it actually does go down. So, but we, we never know, right? I do have a review. So in terms of concept, I think it's an eight uh, because definitely it's a very solid concept. Um, the eight is actually quite a high score as well because this is not just someone creating different layers of music and overlaying it, but it is being created by AI and they want to create the, you know, first virtual influencer driven by AI and not just a virtual influencer. So there's, there's a difference in that. In terms of artwork, definitely an eight. Um, I think people might like the artwork and it seems like they have 3D avatars in the future, right? We, we never know, but we do have those sneak peeks. So an eight. Team Dogs, yes, uh, Team is Dogs. Uh, you could do search them. Uh, if you don't believe it, I mean, you could search them on Google. 
uh, find out who was the Emmy Award winner. So when a team, at least a few people of the team, let people know who they are, right? You'll know that, hey, they are putting their reputation on the line. And especially now that Scoop Dog, who's a big player in this space, is putting his reputation on the line for this project. Um, definitely, it might mean something, right? And then the background Solid 9, these people can deliver. Social media, social power, they are on TikTok, they are on Twitch, they are on uh, Twitter, they're doing a lot of promotion. And then they even have campaigns in the metaverse, right? So definitely an 8. Marketing, I think definitely an 8. Roadmap, uh, the roadmap really depends on you, right? First of all, um, do you buy the vision of you know joining the, uh, having an AI influencer? If you do buy this vision and you do believe what they do, then it has a high score for you, right? And the value for holders, that is, you know, the music track that you own. Um, is there any way that you can monetize a music track? If you know how to do it, it will have a higher value. But if you don't, um, but you like enjoy music, then it will also have a higher value for you. I do have people commenting on my ranking system. I just want to use this moment to say that this is just reference and this is subjective. And for each different people, there's a different ranking score. It's just a framework for you to think, okay, should I get it or not, right? And in terms of community and eight, uh, because I think it, it is able to drive right now uh, a group of people who are interested in web free and also music, time frame liquidity right now, you know, because there's an interest in it, there's a eight, right? But it is a long-term holder project, though. I give them a 79 out of 100, which is, you know, we are going to make it still risky, but it is an interesting concept. It is something that um, I do look forward to see how they perform in the future, right? Uh, especially when they release this AI-generated influencer. Because think about it. An AI-generated influencer is unlike a real human being, where a human being has to rest, but an AI-generated influencer could perform anytime any day in any time zone right so it is a totally different concept and uh you think that you know being part of this could to somewhat add value to you that this is a project you want to get in but uh, as i always say you know do your own research and right now you know it's so overheated um so I, I might personally i observe and see how it goes but um you know with all the real wallets holding this um i think they might have known something or you know they believe in that project right but to each their own, different people have different circumstances. So this is your host, Nafandra Putisi, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode.